In this tutorial we're going to uh, explore some of the new features in Chow 4.6 or one of the new features. Um, it is a spectral fitting that is available through DS9 by the uh, DAX, the DS9 analysis command extensions. Um, so we begin by loading a uh, event file with uh, one of our favorite event files, rowof, uh, obz d635, and we're going to uh, draw a source region and a background region. Um, so we'll just use a simple circular region for both. Um, and get that centered. So there's a source region, and then we'll pick a background region nearby, um, source free. Um, now the trick is we want to make sure that it's uh, designated as a background so we can set the property um, using the, if you double click the region you can bring up the properties menu. Um, or you can also use the uh, keyboard shortcut B to do it. Um, once you get the keyboard shortcuts, it's pretty easy to uh, remember them. So then we'll go into Chow Sherpa, which is a new uh, new menu item in Chow 4.6. And there's just a couple of options. Spectral Fit is the first one, which is what we're going to do. And you can see uh, there are a couple of different spectral models that we have. We, you know, obviously, we don't have all the models here. Um, simple parameters, um, grouping the counts, the energy range you want to fit over, um, and whatnot. And when you do this, uh, it will go ahead and start running spec extract to extract the spectrum. Uh, that will generate the RMFs and the ARF. Um, source and background spectrum will be extracted. Um, this takes a few minutes, not minutes, a few seconds, depending on the size of the region. Um, and then it goes into Sherpa, does a fit, um, does confidence intervals, and uh, gives you the uh, model flux, the uh, integrated flux. Um, and go up here and you see this is the normal Sherpa output with the uh, fit results. Uh, the chi, you know, the reduced chi square is really, really good, <laughs> but uh, obviously the model doesn't uh, do very well at high energies. Just by looking at the residuals, um, there are the model parameters, um, and then here then are the uh, photon flux and the energy flux. Um, now let's just say we wanted to. Uh, decided that the power law model we fit wasn't the best and we wanted to pick a different model uh, so we'll do a black body just to see what happens um, you'll notice that it quickly went through the uh, extract spectra since it's already done that it doesn't actually go back and re-extract them it just uses the files on disk um, it actually saves them in a cache um, that you can then go back and use uh, by yourself but this is, makes it fairly easy if you want to explore different grouping options or different models or different energy ranges to uh, do different uh, spectral fits uh, quickly without having to really learn all the Chow syntax or the Sherpa syntax um, to do it. Uh, the last line here is a restore line. Uh, this is a Sherpa command that lets you actually uh, restore the state of Sherpa back to where it was. Um, so if we go back and if we start up Sherpa now and uh, we'll cut and paste that line into the terminal um, we can now do you know, things like show source to see what source model has been defined. And we can replot the data directly from, uh, from Sherpa. And that's the same plot we just saw. And we can even you know, refit the data at this point. Um, you know, pick a different fit method and uh, Moncar is uh, more robust, but it tends to be a little bit slower, so we don't run that through the uh, through DAX. And you get a similar uh, kind of fit result. Um, you know, the chi squared here isn't great. This isn't a, a really good model for this uh, for this data set, but that's really not the point. The idea is that you can do this uh, pretty easily uh, without again having to learn all the syntax of Chow or Sherpa. Um, you can get, get some rough ideas of the uh, the models. Um, the last thing here is clean cache. I said this files get saved on disk. Well, you can clean them up automatically. And that's about it.